Hey guys, how are you doing? Thank you so much for stopping by my channel, The Sacred Alchemist 1111. I'm your reader, Lorraine. And guys, do I have a reading for you all, the collective? This is going to cover your sun and rising and Venus signs. Also, please note that it is timeless. It's not a personal reading. I don't do personal readings, although you may want to, if you do resonate with it a lot, it could almost be classed as a personal reading for you all. Um, but it's, in general, I don't do personal readings. Um, it's timeless as well. So whatever is brought up in this reading, it may have already happened. It's about to happen now or may happen in the near future. Take what resonates. But, okay, let's just cut the spiel, okay? I'll put, I'll put it in the description box. Guys, whoever's watching this reading, okay, you, talk to you, somebody has figured you out. Because I was hearing, um, <clears throat> so excuse me, I've had a cold drink, which you know, I shouldn't have done. First thing, um, an hour or so ago, it's very quite early in the morning here, and uh, yeah, I've been coughing like anything. Um, so please excuse me if I'm coughing through the reading, okay? I do apologize. But the thing is, somebody has caught you out, they want to talk to you, they're going to confront you, you know, um, either a message or they're coming up in your face. They're going to come to you. They want to know, it's like, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of that R&B song. I'm talking about a thousand years ago. Um, it was called something about written all over your face. It's written all over your face. Okay. So I don't think that the poker face um, tactic was actually working very well for you. Um, but they've just pegged you out. They've got you figured out. Okay. And when I was shuffling the cards, I did see Merger Akana, the Hermit card. And instantly that brought me to an energy of where somebody's looking within themselves, using their wisdom and their intuition to peg you out. OK, um, now you need to take this bit as it applies to your situation, because I feel that this is it is about feelings. It's about how you feel towards this person. OK, um, and it could be the fact that you might have um, a very sort of like um, a straight up situation with them where you might have a bit of beef with them and you know they, they just heard some shit and they're just coming to call you out on it um or the fact that um it's to do with you avoiding the love issue okay and you know the big l word is not for you right now you've been denying it and putting it off and putting it off and putting it off <clears throat> so excuse me um and the fact is is that it can't be kept on the back burner for much longer okay this is what i'm picking up guys it may not come out in the reading however this is intuitive it's an intuitive message so you are advised to just take this guys let's just get stuck into this reading if you haven't already done so guys please do like share, subscribe to the channel hit the bell below the screen so that way you can be in um formed by email once i've uploaded new content for you guys oh my goodness Mmm, truth is coming out. Truth is coming to town. Truth is coming to search you out. It's coming. Um, I do feel, right, you've got blessed. So this could be a blessed something. Well, you first of all, this is for you. I, I want everyone to be blessed. I want everybody to have a very blessed day. Maybe you're somebody who says that all the time to people. Have a blessed day. Stay blessed. Um... But yeah, that's kind of like the aura, the energy as well um, that I, 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 I love. Um, but yeah, this is something that is, you've been really kind of, ooh, look, I told you, message in a bottle. And you've got the fates. Something is kicking, is going to kick off. I don't know whether or not this is going to be, um, I don't know if it's, confront well, whatever it is, it is confrontational. But it's not like, I don't feel it being bad. Uh, maybe you might feel a bit embarrassed. Somebody's going to feel a bit embarrassed by it being, it's like you've been caught out, love, okay? And, uh, yeah. I don't want to sit down, I'm going to talk to you about it. I see back and forth, back and forth conversation, though. I don't know if they're smoking you out in order to bring out this truth bomb. But somewhere along the line, darlings, this is about a, a situation where your feelings are being drawn out into the open. I think I might title that. Your feelings are being um, drawn out into the open. So whatever you've been trying to keep secret or whatever the case may be, you've been, you've been found out. And this conversation... 
I th I don't look. I don't sense any playing around him. Maybe on your part. I'll be honest with you. Please don't take it any other way. I mean well, but in terms of you, like sort of, it's like, how can I say, pretending that it's not true, pretending that oh, it's it's not really happening. So there's a little bit of self denial going on here, and I just feel that right now, it's like they don't want to. They don't want to um, go on about it any. You know, like pretend anymore. So t let me get these two extra cards for you. You've got peace and serendipity. I feel that this is really about, I, I, I do, that's what I said, I don't fancy, I don't sense anything bad here. I don't really sense that at all. Maybe they could be coming to you with in peace. Maybe they just want to have a peace talk with you. Maybe this is just about, let's just end things peacefully. Let's just start things peacefully. But whatever it is, there's a change that's going on. And I've just seen five, five. Okay, um, so there's something that is changing and there's something that's ending. Uh, well, yeah, um, but the, something wants to begin again. You've got this serendipity. They, there's something very, like, how can I say? Again, this feels like chance meeting. We've got the fates and we've also got serendipity. This is a, and 17 and it's 18 as well. There's something extremely... Mm -hmm. I'm sensing partnership energy for, for some of you guys. But they really want to talk to you. I don't know if it's something that they had an aha moment and I thought, oh my God, I need to find my, you know, whoever. I need to find you. But they, it's like, I get it now. The light's been switched on inside of my head. That light bulb above my head's gone on or, you know... Um, something's definitely been enlightened to them because if you can see this sort of like, it's a little bit of a light sort of like that's coming through from the stars. Um, and I mean, you, you've got the blessed energy. Okay, so there could be an um, ancestral, soul family um, intervention that's been happening here. But somebody's going to send you a message. They're coming for you. Don't, don't, when I say it that way, um, depend, well, depending on your vibes. Um... It really is about just wanting to speak to you in peace. They want to give you peace of mind. They want to get whatever they want, have to say or what they've been thinking about off of their shoulders. Um, because I saw the, as I said, I saw the um, Hermit card with this deck. So, you know, it's not, as I said, it's not anything like totally bad. I feel that you're going to be a bit embarrassed. I, feel, I do sense embarrassment. Um, but yes, oh my goodness, right. Let's do this. Um, also, um, it is December 1st. It is the 1st of December. And we do have 20 days left until the 21st of December. So, guys, between now and then, all I'm going to say to you and ask you very kindly is if you don't mind keeping your vibrations high up, keep them high. Keep yourself positive. Because you know that we've got this massive shift that's taking place right now. And... Whatever's going on in your life right now, um, it, it's not going to matter for much longer. Mm. It's not going to matter for much longer. So, with that being said, we're going to get stuck into this reading because I'm telling you, mm -mm, I've got certain things that's going on here. Right, okay. I'm pulling for the overall energy of the tarot. Let's see what we've got. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. So we've got the death card. Something has ended and there's a change coming up. Okay. As I said to you, um, whatever it whatever it was, I just I just feel that you need to put the past behind you. You need to put the past behind you. In all honesty. Um, I because I do feel that with somebody in this, whoever's thinking about you. Um, they have been weighing up the pros and cons in the past about how to deal with this because both of you are not happy. Whatever's whatever's going on between the two of you, you're not you're both not happy. And this unhappiness between the two of you, it, they want it to end. They want it to finalize. They want it, they just want to move on from this energy. It's been really stagnant and it's a, it's been on for like God knows how long. And whatever this feud is or this misunderstanding or whatever it is, they want to talk to you. They want to break the ice. So they come to you in peace. Okay. So 
That's just, this is the overall energy. Hold on a sec, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so we have the overall energy of the fact that somebody really wants to put the past behind you. They don't, it's like, yeah, burying the hatchet. I'm hearing burying the hatchet. Not in your back, so don't feel suspicious because I do sense it's going to be a little bit of like, hmm, what's going on here, okay? But what I do feel really and truly is that they do, sorry about that, guys. So they do want to make sure that they are going to come at you at an angle that is going to be very much neutral, amicable, um, friendly, but but there's a seriousness behind this as well because they have identified that there is an issue between the two of you. There's definitely an issue. Um, and I don't see that you guys are either seeing eye to eye or you might not even be seeing each other because there's a bit of distance going on here. I'm picking up the distance between the two here as well. Um, so they want to close that gap. They want to come in to bridge that gap. They want to close the gap off, all right? So let's just get stuck into the tarot. Let's, let's, let's spill the tea here. Let's spill the tea. Let's see what's going on here. Someone's been doing some major transformations. Major transformations. We have got the four of pentacles in reverse. So whatever was holding you or them back, I do feel that it was necessary. Um, maybe they had certain things that um, they needed to sort out for themselves. But I am sensing that there was a money issue here with them. Okay. Um, and it was not something that was really they had any control over. Okay. I do. Why am I picking up some? Hmm. I'm saying I, I, I just had family fortune. I, I just had family fortune. There's either a loss or some kind of gain going on here. But this is very much, this person had too much on their brain where coins are concerned. Okay. In the past. But right now, they it's like they're able to come forward. Something definitely wasn't working out. Yeah. I mean, the, the, whatever it was, it had them trapped. That's why they wasn't able to come to you. And I really, and I'm sensing some bad energy here. Oh, gosh. Okay. Like this, when it was upright like this, I'm sensing that these swords are representing people. But these people have a very nasty tongue. I, like some kind of, mm, you know, like the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Okay, real skank, nasty energy. But I feel at the time the person was a little bit oblivious to what's really what was really going on. But I think they were surrounded by liars. I don't like how these swords are. And I know this is the Eight of Swords, but to me, it feels like Ten of Swords energy because it was definitely leading up to that. But it, they have been released. They have been released, okay? Um, this, yeah, look at this. I told you there was definitely in something where with people, there's some struggles going on there. Whatever they were trying to work on, I feel that there was something was very much going against the grain. I don't know how you are involved in this, but I sense that they were, they were, it is that they were preoccupied. And this is what's the, I do sense that this is what you're seeing here is the reason why they weren't able to deal with you before. Right? Something really to do with some kind of money was keeping them in the process. And I do see a lot of confusion and conflict behind this person's back with other people. You know, it could be the fact that because the five, because remember, you've got five um, of ones here. The eight of um, swords, um, three of those swords could actually represent disappointment and pain. Okay. Really, you know, heartbroken about whatever it's going to. It could be five people that's involved in it or a bunch of people. But anyhow, it doesn't matter. I'm sensing there was people that was just really hating this person or gunning after them. Okay. But they were busy at work. They were definitely busy at work. They were doing their shit. They didn't even, they, I don't think they even realised that they had time. Or if they were thinking of you during the time of when they were working, it was a thing of like, in their mind, it was like, I hope you wait. Just wait, 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 wait. I'm almost there. I'm almost finished. I'm coming, okay? I'm coming. We've got the magician. He was conjuring up some stuff. Or th she was. Okay? Really conjuring up some new beginning. Because I feel that, Whatever's going on now, I feel they can contribute now. 
they're ready to come in with some kind of offer towards you but this feels as if because of the because I, I just looked at the fates when I'm looking at this card this it, it this had to kick in and I feel that it was definitely through the universe it couldn't really come through any other way okay now how are you fitting into this I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to have to pull another deck out because this really feels, there's the Hermit card in reverse. The Hermit card is in reverse. As I said to you, there's definitely been somebody who has been really sensing you out. And they're no longer doing that. We have got at the bottom of the deck, we've got the strength card. So they have overcome a lot of things. <clears throat> I really feel that there's been some kind of struggle. But it has ended. It has ended. Um, underneath this strength card, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it's come in. Something is really kicking in here where um, you guys are I'm sensing you're going to be happy together. You see how this deck is. Um, look at that. We've got the King of Cups. And the, he's got a cup in his hand of celebration. I feel that with the sun card where it's got the two, like a man and a woman facing each other. I do sense that this feels like this is couple energy and this is how, what's going on here. Okay. You, I do sense maybe you were disappointed. Okay. Um, and this is definitely where it's like, yeah, I get that. I know that. But I, at the time, I just wasn't able to deal with you. I wasn't able to give you the attention that I needed because this person was hard at work. They were definitely hard at work. They had to make this happen. Because what I see here, I see, yeah, I see seven. The four of pentacles, I see the three of pentacles. The magician card also has the ace of pentacles in his possession. And then we've got the two of pentacles. All of that equals ten. This person, I feel, was hard at work trying to conjure up and create the Ten of Pentacles to give you. Because each of these pentacles, each of these cards represents the other person. They don't represent you. You are here in the Sun card. But I don't see you anywhere else, well, apart from the Wheel of Fortune. They know you were disappointed. So I do sense... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I do sense that... Even if you say, oh, no, it's fine, really. No, it's okay. Or whatever the case may be. Because, you know, I, I've it's coming in. <laughs> it's coming in. They're going to be like, no, don't lie. I know that you were disappointed. I know. I also know that th th it's like they know they have to come back to you. They have to come back to you with some kind of conversation. They're, they need to come back to you with some kind of conversation, some kind of reason. Because they know you deserve to be told what was really going on. That you deserve to be told the truth. No matter how long this was going to take, because remember, we've got the fates and we've got the Wheel of Fortune. This was going to kick in. So that Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. But this means that this, this was definitely going to kick in. Okay? They knew that you were upset. And they want to talk to you about it. And I do sense of it. Because remember, they're coming to you in peace. So they want to make peace with you. I feel you were definitely pissed off. Defo, 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 right? Um, let's just do... Whoever these people are, they were the culprits. They were the ones that was kind of interfering um, with this, with this um, situation here, okay? And um, let me look at the seven or... Sorry, let me look at the... Um, Hold on, guys. I'm picking up on a few things here with this five of wands. I'm picking up on something that's to do with consciousness as well on this person's part. Um, religious situations and different backgrounds. There's something to do with some kind of society it's been a mix up, a you know, everything's reaching a boiling point. But there's a lot of things that's going on here with this five of, of wands. But I feel that what this person has done, he's just tuned himself out and just focused on doing his work. And because he hasn't really been focusing on this, 
It's caused a situation there. It's like, who the hell do you think you are? This could be a lot of noise in his head and it's about taking action towards working on something to change this around. What was... Okay. Spirit, tell me about the four of wands in reverse. Tell me about the four of... Sorry, not the four of wands. Bigger part of The four of pentacles. Tell me about the four of pentacles. Tell me about the four of pentacles in reverse. That's the card that is the five of cups. Unhappiness. Losses. I'm also, because as I said, I picked up on losses earlier. But um, there could be loss to do with money and letting go. Somebody had to let, they had to let go of something. Which really was very disappointing to them. They really had their hopes up. But the, you see where you got the bridge there as well. With the five um, of cups. This is about water being under the bridge. Too much water has gone under the bridge. And I feel that if there was anything to do with any kind of amendment or some kind of three of cups kind of celebration or reunion, I, I sense that person kicked them over himself. He didn't want nothing to do with it. So he transmuted the three of um, cups into the three of pentacles. Mm -mm -mm. This definitely would have made, uh, this definitely would have turned heads. I tell you now. Look at the Eight of Swords. What's with the Eight of Swords? I told you. Look at that. Three of Swords energy. However, it's in reverse. They were... I'll tell you something. You know when you have certain people around you that are just... I mean, this is toxic vibes. This could be family issues. This could be... A, a, because I, I see the Ten of Pentacles in these, in these cards, the four cards... OK, this is about something that was destabilized. Something was destabilized. And it had a lot to do with um, this five of wands and this four. Sorry, this um, eight of swords energy. Something was destabilized. But in a way, it had to happen. It, remember, it was fated. How was this person feeling now that. All right, getting over the. Uh, this feels a bit pasty. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, look at this. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. We've got the Five of Pentacles in reverse and we have got the Queen of Wands. Did these cards not come out before? And I shuffled these cards like crazy. Jealousy. Jealousy was around him because coming out from the Five of Pentacles, a lot of Earth sign energy. And this is you. You're the Queen of Pentacles. This is what was driving them forward because you're in the Queen of Pentacles energy. You were you were working some well, I don't even know if you were aware of this, but you would you were working on drawing them back in. Five of Wands, tell me about the Five of Wands energy, please. Sir. What is the Five of Wands all about? Thank you. Drop some cards. Told you. Mm-hmm. He turned his back. Allowed this. Thing to, remember what I said to you just now about destabilized. The five of wands and the eight of swords is all about hatred and nastiness because the queen of wands is also the embodiment or part of this, this structure. So he, he or she, like basically they, they ended up looking away from all of this. They were waiting for you. I don't know if they were waiting for you or you could be waiting for them, but they're definitely waiting for something to come in, waiting for some kind of message. Um, but they had to make moves. I feel if they were waiting too long, they'd still be waiting there forever. So they had to take action on making this shit happen. That's why I said they're coming to you. Somebody is coming to you and they're, and they're serious because I feel that the, the Page of Swords is something that they're coming to you with some kind of truth, but they've also been watching you. I don't, I mean, obviously it would be like the Knight of Swords energy, but the Sword um, of Truth is there. Ace of Swords. This toxic thing had to just, va like, just literally go. What they are trying to conjure up, what are they trying to conjure up with the magician? Eh-eh. Uh -uh. Huh? You see that? You see that? Mm-hmm. Look at that. In and out, in and out. They know that, the, listen, I don't, you cannot deny this. The cards are straight up telling me and they're telling you 
about this reunion. It is the coming in love, all right? They want to be able to be able to, for the both of you to have the strength to turn this around. It's like this. Sorry, guys. Can't really see. Okay. But they want you to have the strength along with them to turn this around because then that's when pure celebration. I see wedding. I see romance. I see hard work and someone's been kicked off. A, A, A. Whoever has been trying to come between the two of you, their ass is getting kicked off. This could be karmic style energy. Toxic. Reunion of, 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 of soulmates that do bloody well need to get back together. It, remember, guys, it's been fated. This person has changed a lot. They're coming at you with love. They're coming at you with love. They know what, the, they know what they've gone through. They know this... With, you see with this, um, sorry guys if I'm rambling, God. All right, so you see with the Hermit card, I always find that, you know, they're looking in the same, some hunched over, you know, really looking kind of like emotionally. When they changed this around and they got over the emotions, that's when they started to use their wisdom about this whole situation. Because remember, you've got the Two of Cups there. That's the love, okay? And then remember, you've got Two of Cups there with the Wheel of Fortune, Right? And then the king of cups is a coming with the cup of love. And remember, you've got the magician there with the ace of cups too. So he or she decided, right, I'm, I'm, I'm coming away from this bullshit. Whatever I have lost, it's okay because I know that I'm going to gain even more. In order to have everything, you must first lose everything. It's facts. It's facts. It's facts. And I say this with strong conviction. It's facts. You can't carry the old shit with you into some newness because what this guy or girl is coming to you with is proper newness. You've got the serendipity card again. So I feel that you may feel that it's like, oh my God, it was such a coincidence that we met up. No, bitch, it isn't. It's fucking fated. It's fated. They're coming for you. And I do sense that you may have misunderstood why they stopped talking to you. Because this person had so much going on. It's stressed. Look at the... St look, you've got the Tower card. You've got the fucking Three of Swords. You've got the Five of Wands as well. And you've got some bitch who is in the form of a Queen of Wands in reverse. That's toxic karmic energy. So this person that really had a lot going on. And I'm, I'm not trying to make excuses here. But what I'm trying to explain here is that this is, this is what's going on. And look at that. We've got the Strength card there. And... Uh, Look at that in the fucking King of Cups. I've just spotted, I've just seen the Ten of Cups popping through. I'm going to claim this for you all. I'm going to claim this happiness card. Okay? And look at that. You've got the Strength card there. You've got the King of Cups set in reverse. So they're really wanting to, this is coming in, but it's going to come in when you guys start talking. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to talk to each other. Oh my God. Blood pressure. Lorraine. Calm down. Okay, so let's have a look now and see about the moonology because we're still in the, the kind of, oh yeah, and you know what as well? Remember, yesterday was the 30th of November, all right? And it was the full moon in Gemini. And it was also a lunar eclipse. So you're talking about endings and beginnings, transformations, affirmations, rituals, everything was going on, cleansed the shit out of everything. And now is the communication time because the, the twins is all about, so this could be twin flame reading here. Mm -mm. Your twin is coming back because the Gemini or soulmate, strong summer energy is coming in. And this person needs, it. you and this person are going to be together, are together. Because it's fated. You've got the wheel of fortune and you've got the fates. And I feel that when you sort of get to understand their situation, their, you know, their plight, what, what the, you know, what they've gone through, their plight. You might feel a bit embarrassed to feel, oh my God, and I was there was me thinking all sorts and I was there cussing them out and back them un they're underneath and everything like that, really cussing. But the thing is, you're going to have to take, <laughs> you're going to have to take it back, aren't you? You may, I mean, obviously there may not have been around to hear the cussings that you were giving them. And tell them about everything about themselves, but you said it all the same. Now, how are you gonna you're gonna have to live with that, aren't you? You're gonna have to swallow that little bit, put it behind you, darling, 
and just move on with your life together because this person is coming at you with the they want to rebuild the ten of pentacles with you and have the ten of cups straight up let's go with the monology all right so this is going to bring a little bit more messages for you you and yours a time to give rather than take give this person the opportunity to talk give them the opportunity to talk to you okay a time to give rather than take and we have got meditate and contemplate so i do feel right now intuitively intuitively you know that this is something that you both and again we've got the like the, the fish like it's pisces but you know again we've got the like the twin kind of type energy this is really about emotions and you I've, i sense that you guys are psychically connected as well just saying because i'm seeing it here with the two of pentacles the, the sun card the strength card here both of you needing to be strong enough up one up one down again with like the pisces one up one down and also with the king um oh god yeah the king of cups is up and down as well the lovers is, is there but we've got the will of fortune you guys are psychically in touch with each other this is why they're this is why they're coming in they know straight up they know this is why you can't fool them don't try to front. Don't don't front because you're going to embarrass yourself even further. Don't front. And you can say to them, it's safe to say, yeah, you know, yeah, I was angry. I was upset. Yeah, I admit that. Okay, so what are you going to do about it? You know, kiss and make up. Or you just keep walking down one way and they walk down the other. Okay, who is, babes, it's your call. I'm just letting you know what the cards are saying and the vibes are saying, Right? But remember, whatever, however the outcome, whatever your decision, you make sure that you keep your vibrations high. Please, because this is so crucial. We're in December now, darlings. We've got three weeks left before December 21st. If you haven't already done so, guys, please do check out um, the sort of like the, um, the prophecy for 2021, December 21st, 20, sorry, 2021. The 21st of December, 2020. Okay, please do check it out. If you have a, if you have time, all right, because I know you, you guys are busy with you know your lives and everything like that. But if you have a bit of time, you know, watch it watch it on YouTube or Google it or whatever. Wow, right, we got. To, all right, I'm gonna take those two, and I'm gonna all right. Okay, oh okay, right. So we have got failure. Yeah, there was definitely something that had fell between the two of you. Okay, where there was a lot of you know. Um, miscommunication and misunderstanding this failed to really gel together but as you as as i explained to you earlier on there was a reason behind that because this person had a lot going on and a lot of enemies around them too i'm seeing some strong enemies mm -mm. we've got grief i understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it so yeah the, 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 as i said to you this person had experienced losses but it's not like to say that they didn't forget about you there was they had you in their thoughts all the time and I feel that this is what was drawing them back in, okay? Dealing with the grief work as well. Remember, you know, I sense that there was a lot of disappointment between them and other people. Um, also picking up a lawyer energy too, a lawyer energy, which may have given them the news about the grief, about the losses, about this and the other, about the truth, about their family. It could be family and, and, and certain friends. But this person has been like, I have had it up to you. I, I, I'm done, okay? I'm turning my back on you all. I'm leaving. The next card that we've got is fear. What they fear is that you're not going to be able to understand. This is what they fear. And, bit, and, and I, I do sense, you know, they want to be coming in, in peace. But, you know, we do have the King of Cups here. So they're in their feelings right now. They're thinking all sorts as well, right? Um, but they're just really hoping that you will be able to understand. We've got denial. See what I'm saying? Don't front. Don't front and act like, no, 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 no. I wasn't angry. I wasn't angry. Yes, she was. Admit it. All right? And you know as well that there's a connection. And you know that you miss them. You know that you love them too. You love them off. You love them like cooked food. So stop lying. And we have got discipline. This person, I do feel so strongly that when they was in the, um, well, especially with the magician and also with the um, hermit card and the death card as well, this person was straight up disciplined. 
cut off a lot of shit, a lot of offers, a lot of people, everything that they had built their lives around at that time. They were busy dismantling it for you. They broke their lives and they, they, they tore their lives down. They, they broke away from what they knew for you. And the card that we've got is acceptance. So this is what I'm saying. They knew and they accepted the fate. They knew what was going on here. And they just said, you know, what? I'm going to surrender to the divine. I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep going against the grain. Every time I do that, I keep messing myself up. And it means more things are happening. And, and, they, and they really don't want that to happen again. They, they, they seriously don't. Look at me talking as if I know them. <laughs> I do. I know them very well. You know, I'm speaking on their behalf for you. <laughs> on a spiritual vibe, you know, from a spiritual perspective. Guys, look, I am so like, uh, it's up to you. All right. I really, in, in my honest opinion, in my heart of hearts, I would love for you to turn in and sit down and, and have a chat with them and get to find out you know, give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, because I feel that you do have something in your heart, of hearts, you do have um, a soft spot for them. But you also will selectively, however, I'm not going to, before you think, no, not for everybody, Lorraine, hold it, hold on, right there, bitch, hold on. You do have that ability to give certain people the benefit of the doubt if you are intuitively attached and attuned into their vibration, into their vibes. Right? You are only going to do that for certain people. Not for every fucking body. And you don't tell people that shit either. You keep that shit to yourself. Because they will use it against you. You've been there already. You know what I'm talking about. Guys, I'm so happy for th this reading. Okay? It, it really feels to me that it has cleared up a lot of shit. <laughs> you know? A lot of misunderstandings. And um, I really do hope that, you know, you, you find it within your heart to sort of like have a sit down. Have a chat you know, and take off that fucking mask so you can actually see each other, speak to each other face to face, do the FaceTime thing, but don't sit there with no mask on it. You, I want to, you guys need to see people, you, you both of you sorts in, um facial expressions. Don't mask it yourself for nobody, all right? Uh, you need to see each other's reactions. You need to see each other's, the way how you smile, the way, th that is human contact, okay? Human contact. So if you want to do this, if you're still a bit on the, you know, on the thing, all right, fair enough, do the FaceTime, do the WhatsApp video, whatever, do the Zoom, okay, fair enough, but unmask, don't put a mask on, because that still kind of like has this kind of like distance, and we don't do fucking distance, not like this, this is not no social distancing energy that you need to be having right now. Physical distance from apart, yeah, because maybe you guys was in one country and the other person was in somewhere else or city or town, wherever. But energetically speaking, this is your soulmate. So you now, they're your soulmate. Guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching this reading. I do, I'm sorry it's a bit lengthy, but there's so much to really get in here and really say. And I feel that it's like really speaking from the heart here for you guys, okay? I just want everyone to be happy and just really focus on just getting their vibes up and just really trudging out you know trudging it through getting through this this situation this you know thing that is you know some kind of bullshit fucking you know what and um, we need to get just get through that okay we've had a whole fucking year of crap bullshit okay and we can the more we that's unfolding the more we see it okay so we don't really want to have that kind of lie that we're saying to each other and and, and trying to be deceptive towards each other we don't do that okay we try to transmit that energy thank you guys again oh, this is about the third or fourth time i said it i'm gonna stop talking now sign off wish you all a very blessed day take care of yourselves and i will be back with another reading take care peace out <laughs>